Hi, my name is Lisa, and this is a yoga sequence or yoga flow to release anger, let go. It's going to be a yin yang practice, pretty much diving on into our flexibility, but also mostly tuning on into our strength. We're going to focus the whole beginning of the practice, twisting and wringing out, but we're also going to allow ourselves to come into child's pose and allow ourselves to just relax, let go, and see if we can release any sort of anger we may be holding on to. In yoga philosophy, it, there is a misconception that anger is something that we shouldn't be experiencing. But anger is actually a human experience just like sadness or compassion or love. It's a feeling that comes up naturally and it's something that we wouldn't, we shouldn't shove down, but actually use it as a tool to learn from, learn more about ourselves, dive deeper into our uh, svadhyaya or self-study in, in yoga philosophy. So I have this story for you. It's from a book called Saltwater Buddha by Jamal Yogis. I'll put the link down below. I love this book and I know I say that a lot with the books but um, every book that I share is something that it's a book that's dear to my heart. He writes, a burly samurai once came to a Zen master and asked the master, Sensei please teach me the difference between heaven and hell. Why would I give an uncouth Cretan like you such a high teaching? The Zen master said in apparent disgust. You're a worm. You're less than a worm. You're a stupid samurai. Samurai were never treated this way in ancient Japan, and the samurai grew instantly enraged. His eyes bulged, and he raised his shiny sword, ready to slice the monk in two. But the Zen master didn't flinch. They never do. He said to the samurai calmly, that samurai is hell. Suddenly understanding the teaching, realizing he was about to kill a holy man because of his own pride, the samurai's eyes filled with tears. He put his own sword down and his palms together in reverence. He bowed deeply. And that, said the master, is heaven. So anger, even though it can easily be taken way too far, can actually be a tool to understand. The samurai understood his own pride was what was really creating this hell in his life. There are certain things that aren't worth fighting for. But if we can begin to use this anger as a tool to understand ourselves more, understand our journey off the yoga mat more, we can begin to bring our off the mat practice a little bit closer to heaven. So that's what we'll be working on today. So let's ground down through the sit bones, rise to the crown of the head, and just take a moment of meditation, closing the eyes, taking a nice big deep inhale into the body. And exhale. Take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. Take a moment to acknowledge whatever is coming up for you today. And begin to set an intention, maybe to release and let go of a little bit of that frustration, a little bit of whatever you are feeling without suppressing it but allowing it to be a tool for understanding yourself a little bit more. And with that intention set, let's go ahead and open this practice with one loud OM. Take a nice big deep inhale for OM. And when you're absolutely ready, gently float the eyes open. 
Let's go ahead, come on to the hands and knees. Bring the big toes together, allow the knees to come as wide as the yoga mat and come into a wide-legged child's pose and begin to sway from side to side, pulsing in the shoulders, rocking, maybe allowing the forehead to release down to the yoga mat as you sway. And just allow yourself to tune on into the four corners of your yoga mat, letting everything outside the yoga mat, any storylines, any negativities, any to-do lists, to be outside of this, of these four corners. And when you're absolutely ready, go ahead, walk the hands all the way over to the right, feeling a nice stretch on the left side of the body. Taking a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. And slowly, go ahead, begin to walk the hands all the way over to the left side. Coming up onto the right fingertips, breathing on it. And exhale. And last big deep breath in. Exhale. And go ahead, walk the hands back to center. Spread the fingertips nice and wide, curl the toes under, press into the hands and feet, lift the hips up. Coming into your first downward facing dog, grounding down through the fingertips and the base of the knuckles as you round the shoulders towards the ribs and begin to pedal out the legs, bending through one leg, reaching through opposite heel. So like I said earlier, this is going to be a yang yin practice. It's gonna be fiery, but then we're slowly gonna bring it on down, kind of tuning down the fires within our belly, within our own feelings. When you're absolutely ready, go ahead, find stillness in downward facing dog. Come up onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, gaze forward in between the hands. When you're absolutely ready, on the tippy toe, see if you can lift the right heel all the way up towards the ceiling with the left knee bent. You're on the tippy toes and begin to straighten that left leg. And then draw the knee in towards the nose, rounding in the back, pressing into the floor, coming into your plank variation as you shift the weight forward. And then go ahead, press up and back into three-legged dog. Release the right foot on down and then release the heels down to the yoga mat. Let's do that about three more times. So inhale, sweep the left heel all the way up towards the ceiling. Come up onto the ball of the foot. You can bend the knees first and then slowly transition into your three-legged dog. And then go ahead, draw the left knee in towards the nose, hugging the lower rib cage in, shifting your weight forward into your variation of plank pose, plakasana. And then go ahead, press that left heel up and back, three-legged dog, and then go ahead, Release the left foot to meet the right. Release the heels. Take a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. When you're absolutely ready, let's take that. Another two rounds. Come on to the balls of the feet. Inhale the right heel on up. And then draw the knee in towards the nose, building this movement a little bit faster. Inhale to reach the right heel all the way back and up and release the right foot on down. Last time on the opposite side, staying up onto the heels, bending the knees and then slowly extend the left heel on up, straighten the right leg. Draw the knee in towards the nose, shift forward into your variation of plank and then go ahead, press up and back and then come into your full downward facing dog, releasing the heels down towards the yoga mat. Big deep inhale. Exhale. Go ahead. Inhale the right heel all the way up towards the ceiling. Draw the knee in towards the nose. Inhale, press up and back. And release. Last time. Inhale, left heel lifts. Draw knee towards the nose. Inhale, reach it on back. And then go ahead, release. Walk the feet towards the hands, coming into your forward fold posture. Swing from side to side. Swing the head yes and no, releasing the jaw, letting it go. Maybe even blubbering the lips to release the jaw. 
beautiful letting go of the day and when you're absolutely ready go ahead bend on into the knees draw the navel on in and send the fingertips down towards the yoga mat melt the shoulders away from the ears to find this true ukatasana and then hug the inner thighs in towards each other as you scoop the fingertips forward and up drawing the pubic bone towards the navel melting and rounding the shoulders inward reaching the fingertips on up take a nice big deep inhale exhale press into the feet and begin to rise bringing the hands up overhead reaching up towards the ceiling and then go ahead swan dive the hands all the way on down inhale into your flat back fingertips underneath the shoulders or slide the hands towards the knees resting them on the shins and on an exhale go ahead release place the hands down onto the yoga mat step back into your plank pose take a nice big deep inhale exhale last big deep breath in exhale all right in this position, we're going to explore lion's breath in plank. So lion's breath is just an exhale, sending your tongue down to your chin. Take a nice big deep inhale, and then exhale. Last time, breathing in. Exhale. Go ahead, release the knees. Slowly lower the heart in between the hands. Inhale into cobra. And exhale, come into downward facing dog. When you're absolutely ready, bend the knees, gaze in between the hands. See if you can step it forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Fingertips are down onto the yoga mat. Really see how low you can go. Draw the navel on in and sweep the fingertips forward and up into Utkatasana. And again, keep internally rotating the shoulders as you reach through the fingertips, lengthening through the sides of the body. Last big deep inhale. Exhale, press into the feet. Bring the hands up overhead. Reach, 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 reach. And then go ahead, slowly swan dive all the way on down. Slide the hands towards the knees for your flat back. And then exhale, go ahead, release. This time, step it on back into your plank pose again. Three, lion's breath here. Ground down through the fingertips, press the floor away, find that sit bone heel connection. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. When you are ready, release the knees on down. Send the heart in between the hands. Inhale, cobra posture. And exhale, downward dog. All right, inhale. The right heel all the way up towards the ceiling. Send the right knee in towards the nose. And then can you step it in between the hands? You can always take a hold of the leg and help it forward. And then when you're absolutely ready, release the hands on down to frame the right foot and rise into high lunge. Go ahead, keep sending that right hip back like that right foot is moving to the back of the mat as you send that left hip on forward. And if it's possible, here's the tricky transition. Bring the hands to prayer and then see if you can twist. That's one variation. If you want to go a little bit deeper, hook the left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Ooh. And keep pressing that right hand on down into the left. Keep wrapping the left rib cage underneath the right. Two more breaths, inhale. Lion's breath, sigh it out. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Release the knee on down to the yoga mat. Sweep the fingertips forward and up. So we're diving on in. It's a little bit of a power yang flow. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale. So maybe I should call this video Yang Yin instead of Yin Yang. <laughs> Last big deep breath in. And exhale, go ahead and release the hands on down to frame the right foot. Okay, go ahead, bring the right foot out to this side. But make sure the knee is over the ankle. 
Then make sure the left wrist is directly underneath that shoulder. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can curl the toes under and come onto the side of the foot. It's just a kind of safe transition for you to come into a type of modified side plank. And then reach the right hand on up. Go ahead, take a nice big deep inhale. And on an exhale, lower the hips just slightly and inhale to rise. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise and just move at your own pace. Begin to meditate if the anger is coming up. Begin to meditate on maybe where that is coming from. You don't have to have the answers right now or today or ever, but you can at least begin to understand yourself. Begin that journey. Last two breaths, inhale and exhale. Last big deep, inhale. Exhale, beautiful. When you're absolutely ready, release the right hand on down. Slowly come up onto the ball of the left foot, step it on back into plank pose, and then come into downward facing dog. All right, let's take this into the opposite side. Inhale the left heel all the way up towards the ceiling. And then go ahead, begin to draw the knee in towards the nose, and then step that left foot in between the hands or help it forward. When you're ready, hug the inner thighs in towards each other, and then sweep the fingertips forward and up in a lunge. Continuing to breathe. Again, it's like the energy of the left leg is pulling on back as the right hip is being sent on forward. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. Bring the hands to prayer. See if you could just twist one variation of your twist, or you can hook the right elbow to the outside of that left knee. At any point in the practice, if you fall, you can just release the knee on down and you can come into the twist the exact same way. So it's really your choice. Go ahead, inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. Inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. Beautiful. Go ahead, release the hands on down. Release the right knee all the way down to the yoga mat. And then go ahead, see if you can sweep the hands all the way on up in Anjayasana. Melting the shoulders away from the ears, sending the hips forward and down. About two more breaths, maybe you can bring the palms up overhead. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, release the hands all the way on down to frame that left foot. Again, heel toe the left foot all the way to the side, but making sure that that ankle is underneath the knee. So you see that space, it's almost like there's a triangle between the heel, the foot, my wrist, and the knee. Then you're gonna go ahead, curl the right toes under and come on to the right pinky toe side of your foot. Lift the hips on up, reach the hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, and just go at your own pace, grounding down through that right heel of the foot, activating through that right heel of that foot. Last two breaths, inhale, and exhale. Last big deep breath in, and on an exhale, go ahead, swim that left hand on down. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Step back into your plank posture. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale. Last big deep inhale. Lines breath it out. And then release the knees. Slowly lower the heart in between the hands. Inhale to rise into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Go ahead, inhale the left heel up towards the ceiling. Help it forward or step it in between the hands. Pivot the right foot on down and then walk the hands all the way over to the right side of the yoga mat, turning the left toes with the rest of the body. Take a moment to breathe in wide-legged forward fold, inhaling and exhale. Keep lifting the knees up towards the hips as you send the sit bones nice and high. Keep drawing the navel in towards the spine, hugging in that lower rib cage. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. Gorgeous. Place the hands onto the hips and come to rise on up. 
My favorite thing to do when I need to release anger, and I teach this to smaller children as well for kids yoga, is lion's breath with goddess squats. So we're gonna go ahead, turn the heels of the feet inward, and then turn the toes on outward. And then we're just gonna see if we can bend on into the knees, making sure the knees trace over the toes. Perfect. Then bring the hands to prayer. See if you can come up onto the right ball of the foot, bending on in and release. And then come on to the left ball of the foot and release. All right, from here, see if you can reach the hands all the way on up. First finger and thumb come together and straighten the legs. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, lion's breath. <sighs> Bending the elbows as well, perfect. Inhale, straightening the legs and arms. Exhale, lion's breath. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Breathing in. Exhale. <sighs> Twice more. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> Perfect. Let's come into warrior two. Turning the right toes to face towards the right side of the yoga mat. Turning the left toes to face forward, making sure there's that heel arch connection. Bend on into the left knee, trace it towards the second toe or even further towards the pinky toe if you notice that knee isn't tracing over enough. And then go ahead, broaden across through the chest, draw the navel on in, send the tailbone on down. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other as you engage the glute muscles. Take a nice big deep breath in. And exhale. Last big deep inhale. Exhale, reach the left hand up and over into peaceful warrior. Sending the right hand to the hip or down the leg. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Last big deep breath in or shallow breath in. Exhale. Come back into warrior two. Straighten the left leg, interlace fingers behind you. Turn the left toes again to face back out towards the side. The feet are parallel across from each other. Send the hips forward, open up in the heart space. Exhale, send the heart on down. Bring the chin towards the chest. The hands come up overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. And go ahead, bring the hands to the hips, draw the knee on and rise. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring this into the opposite side. So go ahead, turn the right toes to face, maybe now, which is the back of your yoga mat, broaden across the chest, the collarbone, Gaze forward, bend on into that right knee. When you're absolutely ready, take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale, reach the right fingertips forward, flip the right hand, bring it up and back into your peaceful warrior. Shallow but deep breath, setting the breath down to the belly. Inhale. And exhale, and I am sweating. So maybe you are too. Last two breaths, breathing on in. Exhale. Keep lengthening up and through the right side of the body. Inhale. Exhale back into warrior two. Straighten the left leg, release the hands on down. And then turn the left toes back to the side. Turn the heels on in. Inhale, reach the hands on up. Exhale, bend just a little bit more. Rock from side to side, really get into the hips. Hips help release the emotion. Last big deep inhale. Exhale. When you are ready, straighten the legs. Turn on to the right heel of the foot. Turn the toes to the side of the yoga mat. Turn the left toes to face the front. And then go ahead, see if you can bring the hands on down. Come up onto the right ball of the foot. Step back onto the left ball of the foot. 
take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale. Last big deep breath in. Exhale. And go ahead, press up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep inhale into the body. And exhale. Now we're gonna come to cool it on down. So go ahead, see if you can step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. Release the left knee on down to the yoga mat. Take a nice big deep inhale as you open up in your hips and then heel toe the right foot all the way over to the left side of the yoga mat. If you need a blanket for underneath your hips, go ahead, allow that to happen. And go ahead, settle on down. Inhale, opening up in the heart space. And exhale, sending the heart towards the earth, maybe even using a block. So this right here is where you begin to cool down. Begin to make an O shape with the lips and then breathe in and exhale. This is a cooling breath. Inhale. Exhale. And begin to release the O, oh, release the breathing. Let yourself begin to cool down. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Go ahead, release that pigeon pose. Come as high onto the hands as possible, opening up in your heart space. Maybe even taking a hold of the Top of the left foot really opening on up and then exhale go ahead curl the left toes under send the left knee underneath the hip and press up and back into your three-legged dog release the right foot on down brilliant let's go ahead take it into the opposite side so inhale the left heel on up then send the left knee behind that left wrist the left heel towards the right hip point walk that foot on back. Settle on into the hips and then see if you can slowly come on down. This time maybe layering in the curling of your tongue for that cooling breath, making a little <laughs> Oreo O with your tongue and then at the same time making that O shape with the lips and breathing in and out for that cooling breath. It's a weird shape, but I promise you it works. Just continuing to breathe, letting any emotions, any thoughts that really no longer serve you melt down into the yoga mat from the hips. Let it free, let it go. Really release. Take a moment to honor whatever or whomever may have spurred this feelings of rage or anger within you especially if they're close to your heart, if they're a loved one.
it's usually the people who are closest to us that we love the most that spark this anger. It's because we love them that our emotions are always on edge. It's because we care. So just take a moment to recognize if it is someone that you truly love, your kids, your partner, your best friend, just recognize that it's because you love them that you may feel this way. Lean into the human experience of your emotions. Take a nice big deep inhale. And exhale, slowly come to rise onto the tippy toes as high as you can. Take a hold of that top foot, draw that heel into the glute muscle, feeling a nice quadricep stretch if it's accessible. If not, just let it go. And when you're ready, release the right foot on down. Sweep the legs in front. Move the blanket out of the way. From here, go ahead, begin to come into Navasana, and can you lower down as one full body? Ooh. <laughs> All right, go ahead, draw the right knee in towards the chest, then the left knee in, and then just see if you can rock and sway from side to side. starting to cool on down. Go ahead, place the feet on down to the yoga mat. If you have a blanket, blocks, a pillow, you can go ahead and place that underneath the hips. This is supported bridge and it's just cozy and it's lovely, it feels really good. So go ahead, just give yourself that extra love coming into this supported bridge posture. Taking a nice big deep inhale. And exhale. From here, release the knees in towards each other. Allow the feet to go as wide as the yoga mat. Place one hand in the pelvis and one hand on the heart. And just imagine the emotions beginning to cool as you cool down. So does everything else within the mind and in the body. Big deep breath in. Exhale. From here, release the hands, walk the feet back in towards each other. If you have a blanket or a prop underneath, the lower back, go ahead, move it out of the way. Extend that left leg on out, hug the right knee on in, and then send the right knee over to the left side. Sending the left hip away from the shoulder and shoulder away from the hip as you come deeper on in. Twisting and wringing out the practice, letting it go. incorporating all that you have learned. And when you're ready, slowly bring the right knee back in towards the chest, release the right leg on down. Let's take this into the opposite side, hug the left knee on in, and then send the left knee over to the left side. A little trick that I like to use with my students in class, you can place a blanket underneath the knee. It's again part of that yang feeling, semi-yang feeling. And then send the hip away from the knee, knee away from that hip. Ring out all and anything that doesn't serve you any longer. And continue to send the shoulder and the hip away. So ring out and then expand.
two more breaths, inhale and exhale. Last big deep breath in, exhale and go ahead. Release the legs. <laughs> you can use your blanket for underneath the knees. Sometimes I like to place the blanket over my hips just to have that little bit of support. Bring the soles of the feet together. Allow the arms to come out to the side. Take a moment to thank yourself for all that you have done. For taking the moment that instead of really letting your anger lead you down thoughts and patterns that may not be the healthiest for you, taking a moment to practice some yoga. <laughs> That can sometimes be the best decision that leads you a little bit closer to peace, heaven, and happiness. Sometimes the key to heaven is just to let go and understand and honor your human experience. Big deep inhale into the belly and exhale. As you breathe in, imagine any air cooling the embers, slowing it down, washing any unnecessary feelings away and opening yourself up to understanding, acknowledging where you are at. Letting the emotions become a foundation for understanding yourself a little bit more. Understanding your peace and love just a little bit more. And you can stay here for as long as you need in Shavasana. May be brought a little bit closer to that internal state of heaven with this yoga practice. Om Shanti Shanti. Peace. Have an amazing rest of your day, night, week, or weekend. Namaste.